up y'all i am here with a braidless sewing update it's only been like a week and some change probably like a week and a half since i did this braidless sewing and i have already washed it um but i'm about to wash it again y'all i have been loving loving this as y'all can see it just looks so natural i can pull it up i can you know flip it because i went in and i um loosened up all the links and everything so it's not tight at all like it honestly feels like nothing is on my scalp like whatsoever i've been pulling it up wearing half up half down i've been wearing ponytails just like look at this look at this guys my hair i'm about to wash and style this hair last time i washed it i didn't do anything to it like as y'all can see how this been looking it's been looking like this like i washed it blow dried it and literally that was it so this time when i wash it i'm gonna show you guys how to retighten and you know how to wash it how to style it and all of that and I'm gonna also talk a little bit more about doing like a braidless sewing with different hair textures because I have so many questions so I'm gonna be answering questions all throughout this video about the braidless sewing so many questions from naturals wondering like what do you do if you have natural hair and you want to do a braidless sewing I got you boo but just for my one week one and a half week update I am definitely loving this braidless I have honestly had no problems with it like it just feels so natural it's so easy to maintain like I love it. We're gonna get all into it in this video. Everything is still looking good as you can see. I really don't need to retighten mine, but I'm gonna just show y'all what you would do if you um you know want to retighten it. Now, first of all, you want to retighten it just like this on dirty hair. Like if you about to wash it, you want to leave it unwashed. You want to do this before you start on any of that. So I'm gonna take um I'll take this row because I do got a little bit of growth, just a little bit. With the braidless, you really don't need to retighten often. I would say like two to three weeks, or it just depends on how fast your hair is growing. But for the purpose of showing y'all how to do this, I'm gonna go ahead and do it now. So as you can see, I have my hair like flipped. I have the row flipped up so the micro links are exposed. You definitely wanna start like in the back if you was doing your whole head. You would start in the back and just go row by row. But I'm gonna just show y'all this one. So you just wanna grab your pliers, the same pliers you use to install the beads is the same pliers you're gonna use to remove the beads and to retighten the bead. As you can see, the bead is squeezed flat this way. So what you wanna do is take that bead and squeeze it to make it, you know, become a circle again. Pull it up to the scalp and then flatten it back. What the fuck? See, I don't mess the beat up. Oh no. I'm gonna actually take this beat out cause I kind of ruined it. Like I kind of smushed it too much. Like if your beat started looking a little like, you know, it got too many bends in it and you didn't get a clean squeeze, you just wanna go ahead and take it out and put in a new one. Look at that, I'm just messing this beat up so bad cause I can't get a good grip on it to go the way I want it to go. We gon' we gonna get this off. I ain't gonna pull it off. Cause I would definitely rip my hair. But you wanna like squeeze it the opposite way to make a circle. But as y'all can see, I done like ruined it. Look at this bead. I messed it up. Oh my god. I think I done got this squeeze on my hair and I can't get it out. Oh my god, I cannot get this hole off. What the fuck? Bro. You know what? Two thousand years later. Finally got it out. I did lose a little hair because I had y'all that was just a hot mess. I had to like pull and just like rinky dink this damn bead off. Let me show y'all this bead. Like it's completely ruined. It's not even a shape no more. It's just bent up. It's a triangle or rectangle and a circle all in one. So yeah, I just messed that up. But let me tell you what I discovered so you don't make the same mistake. What I didn't know all these years of doing a braidless and I just realized this about these pliers and how you're supposed to squeeze and make it flat and then how you're supposed to squeeze and make it a circle is literally right here on the damn pliers. Fresh new bead, right? You're supposed to squeeze it with the crinkly parts when you want to make it flat. Boom. Boom. There's your flat bead. Look at Y'all see the little circle? The first little circle? That's what you're supposed to put it in to make it a circle again. Not trying to squeeze it back and then you could potentially, you know, make it a circle, triangle, rectangle like I just did. Just put it in that little 
first circle right there and it'll turn back into a circle like this. So you put it in there like that, squeeze, and look at that. <laughs> it go back into a circle perfectly. No struggle. Why didn't I know that? I I'm just, why didn't I know that? Anyway, I'm going to repair the missing link. So I'm just gonna take my little thing. I have my bead threaded on there. As y'all can see, even when you take the bead out, it's still like there, it's still, you know, the hair is still sewn up on your hair. All you need to do is put the link on. So just grab that hair. Bam. And you might have to do this like when you retighten your braidless sewing. You might have to just take some out and refresh it, especially like if you mess your bead up like I did. You might just have to do that. And then, okay, so here's how you retighten it. You just pull that bead back up, tight to where you want it, and squeeze. And there we go. That is a braidless retighten. I low-key just made this too tight, so I'm about to drag it back down just a little bit. We're going to put it in that circle like we done figured out. There we go. So, bam, when you put it in that circle... Y'all see that? That be move. If you need to tighten it, you want to scoot it up. If you need to loosen it, you want to scoot it down to where you need it to be. So I'm going to put it back like right here. Squeeze. Make it flat again. And bam. There we go. So yeah, hopefully that made sense. And that's what you want to do to every link. Like I said, starting at the back, going row by row. You just want to, you know, tighten every link until you get done and then you want to proceed to wash and style after you tighten because if you wash and stuff first and you got all that new growth everything can just get tangled up tighten first wash and style next let's get it so we're about to get started on washing this hair you really just wash it just like you would your hair like nothing special nothing and i guess we'll go ahead and talk about texture um as far as what kind of texture hair you want to get when you want to braid with someone obviously i am relaxed so my hair is like, you know, not having an issue with having straight weave because my hair is straight when it's wet. Honestly, for my black girls, even relaxed, I would recommend like a pinky straight hair because I think that will match my texture a lot more because when my hair is blow dry, it's still like, you know, kinky, yakky or whatever. And I mean, honestly, you can also wear straight weave with a braidless on when you're not true. My client, I used to do this braidless on all the time. She was natural and she wore like body wave, straight hair. She didn't have any problems because that's how she styled her hair. She came back like every two to three weeks to get it retightened, washed, and straightened or curled. But say, you know, you wanna wear your natural curls, obviously you wanna get um, some weave that's a natural texture. So if you was natural, you'd be getting it wet and everything would be, you know, the same texture curl. So that's what I would definitely recommend. Or if you don't want to get, you know, textured hair, you want to get something straight, wavy, it could definitely work, even being natural. All you do is maintain your hair being straight, like curled and, you know, put rollers in it at night or wrap it. Just like you would try to, like, maintain your silk press, it would be the same exact thing with a braided sewing. So, yeah, hopefully that answers those questions. I'm about to go in, shampoo and condition. I'm using my Aussie, Aussie, Lord, what am I talking about? I'm using my Aussie Mega Moist. Shampoo and conditioner, I love this stuff. And for the first shampoo, I always like target the scalp. And I'ma just show you how to get up in there with a braidless. I'm gonna put that on. And to get to your scalp, it's really easy because all your hair is out. It's not like a regular tone and regular hair is, you know, hidden and tucked away. So you just lift up, lift up the tracks and get in there, you just scrub. This is why I love a braided sewing because I'm scrubbing my scalp right now. And I got weed in this. I honestly think this braidless is so much better than like a gluing or even clippings because it's, it's your hair. <laughs> you can wash it. You know, you don't have to take them out. You don't have to worry about glue slipping out. You can treat a braidless sewing, you know, just like it's your real hair. So that's why I really, really love this install. Like, you can scrub it, ain't nothing about to fall out, you know, ain't nothing about to slide out. It's just literally just like your hair, like look at that. Look at that girl, I can do a whole photo shoot, a whole, but go jump in the beach, go jump in the ocean somewhere, and nobody would know, like, who gonna know? Say like you're going on vacation or something, you plan on like swimming, 
I would definitely recommend to get a texture, like a weave texture, close to your texture. So you know you ain't gotta worry about it. Then you can jump in the water, all of that, and not have to worry about the weave looking one way and your hair looking a different way. <laughs> and don't be judging my armpits, y'all. I'm about to shave. <laughs> I just like to lift up every track and like, you know, make sure to spray it in between. This feels so good. I love washing my hair. So so good on my scalp, and my scalp has been so itchy lately, so this is just everything. Okay, yeah, just lift it up, spray it up. Just like your regular hair. Hopefully I get some lather this time because my hair is so dirty that it didn't even lather up. Not even thing. I just love when your hair is freshly washed with like a really good smelling shampoo and conditioner. It just smells so good and fresh. Mm, here's how it's looking. Here it is. Now it's time to blow dry. I'm just using this Bamboo and Silk HCO conditioner by Design Essentials and this Argan Oil. It actually looks really nice just blow dry. I think if I have like kinky straight hair, it'll like even blend. I think it'll blend like even better, but that's how it's looking. Cute, cute, whatever. Now I am gonna cut it some more. I did do like face framing layers, but I kind of wanted more layering. So I'm about to do some really easy layers, ponytail layers, okay? I ain't got time to be going in. We ain't doing all that, so. <laughs> All you do is flip over. Boom. Just like that. Like, look at that high pony girl. Who's, who's weave? That's all I wanna know. Who's weave? Weave wear. Anyway, this is how you cut some super easy layers. Uh, you just wanna make sure it's combed. Going straight up. Uh, probably down a little more. Probably not a good idea with hair this long, but look. We gonna try to make it do what it do. That's probably so uneven because I was cutting it a whole slant, but. <laughs> ah! Look at that. 
I got a whole bob ponytail. Let's see how it came out. Okay, not too shabby. I'ma just go ahead. You see all them layers? Like, yes, honey. But I'ma cut it a little shorter. Girl, I see your face everywhere. When I'm going out, you'll be there. Cause everything reminds me of you. I can't take no more. Girl, I think I'm losing my mind. Try to go to work, but I lost track of time. Cause everyone keep looking like you. I can't take no more. From your hands and your body, it hurts so, so now it's really the easy part. I'm just about to go in and style everything. Like low key, I kind of want to keep it like this because I like how full it looks and like it just looks so, you know what I'm saying? It looks so natural, but now I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna straighten it and curl it. I might curl it, I, I don't know. It depends on how I look. If I want to wear it, if I'm feeling sleek, I'm gonna leave it sleek. But if I'm feeling some, you know, juicy curls, I'm gonna go in with my flat iron and just do like flat iron curls after I silk. So I'm starting off with my pressing comb. I'm just gonna first of all, get some little bit of oil on my hair, okay? I still have putting oil on it after blow drying. So just gonna really focus that in like on my hair. So like in nail, get a little bit on my scalp cause my scalp be so dry. What weave sis? What weave? What weave? Where? Okay, I got my pressing comb. Let's get to work. To think of you with someone else. Can't get enough when you're sweet talking to me. Now I'm talking sweet over myself. Put your arms on me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. The braid list is everything. This is by far my favorite install, like more than a partial sew-in, more than a glue-in, more than clip-ins. The braid list is like so for me because I can wash it, like my scalp feels nice and fresh and clean. And this just feel like, girl, like this is my hair. Like what you, <laughs> I can definitely see myself having this in for like a couple months. Um, Yeah. I'm probably gonna have it in for a while. Even though I gotta do other videos like wigs and stuff, I might just, you know, figure a way, braid this down and keep this in for like a couple months. Cause honestly, this is some like, this braid list is everything. Like this is the, 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 this is the installation of all installations, okay? Make sure if you got any more questions about the braid list sewing, um, definitely leave them down below in the comment section. I definitely will be doing a video on the takedown. I've gotten so many comments about you know wanting to see the takedown for sure i am doing that but if you have any more questions make sure to comment down below and i'll answer them in the takedown video and that'll be like probably my last video on the braille so because i pretty much showed y'all everything like with the retightening how to wash it how to style it wop you woo or whatever but if you want to see something else with this braid list definitely let me know i probably will throw like some curls in it with some uh, flexi rods when it starts to get old or whatever so I'm gonna do some cute stuff. It's gonna be cute. It's gonna be cute cool this week. I've been looking busted and crusty all last week. This week, 
she gonna be cute okay because she got the silk oh she silked out girl freshly washed i just love this install y'all i love it so much i love this hair this is kalai hair love it love it love it love it it's so such good quality hair so i'm in love y'all i'm in love it's so natural looking like you just cannot tell me you can't tell me this ain't my hair like poo who's weave who's weave like i just i can't get over this i can't i can't so anyway that is it for this video thank y'all so much for watching make sure to thumbs up comment down below and yeah subscribe if you ain't subscribed poo poo okay follow me on instagram i'm definitely gonna be taking some pictures because i'm definitely feeling myself just a little bit just a little bit so follow me on instagram i love y'all i will see y'all in the next video peace out